All right, so back at the uh, Irvine Spectrum, and uh, I'm gonna go see the movie The Last Exorcism. I'm meeting a group here, and hopefully they'll let me film them, but if not, no big. Are you excited for the movie? I'm really excited for the movie. It's PG-13, so I hope it's scary and not just for kids. <laughs> me too. That would be a shame. Because, yeah. So that's... I don't think you can see me in the dark anymore. Can you see me in the dark? No. Not at all. Man, how'd you like the movie? Well, it was pretty creepy. What was, your favorite, what was your favorite part? The fact that this guy's no different than Benny Hinn. He's yeah. a big con man that doesn't believe what he preaches. He goes there and makes his money. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really exposing some of these preachers for what they really are. Yeah, the ending, exactly as I predicted. You, said exactly. you, you knew it was going to happen? It's going to happen based on the, on the girl's drawings. It is creepy. It is scary. You really need to go see this movie. All right. A lot, lot, lot of suspenseful stuff in there. Was Prana 3D better? Mm, no, no. You got to go see this movie. Good advice. I don't know, I really enjoyed it. It actually, between Piranha and Last Exorcism, I mean, they're completely two completely different movies. Um, so, I mean, I don't really know exactly how I can really compare them fairly. But if it was like, you know, would you go see The Last Exorcism again or Piranha 3D again, I would probably say The Last Exorcism. The violence, it, it has a lot of scare moments, and it actually, it actually, it's different, obviously, than the other Exorcism, because, you know, it gets old after a while, I'm sure, the same, you know, old formula. If I had to rate it, I would probably give it 7.5 out of 10. You know, it had its moments. The ending might, it'll either piss you off or, like, scare the crap out of you. And it didn't scare me, but it was, like, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm really into, like, fun endings, and the ending was definitely a good one. So, you know, just kind of, if you're really into the mockumentaries, check it out. If you, uh, if you get motion sickness easily, do not go see this movie. It's a great film about a, you know, a pastor who doesn't believe in what he's preaching, and, you know, you'll see how that affects him. Um, and he tries to do an exorcism. Go see it with a bunch of friends. That's the, that's the way you should go see it, because it's more fun when you see it with other people. This has been Mr. Sugarwater, and I hope I made your guys' day a little bit sweeter. Tyler, out.